That's hard. I had to say, in 35 minutes, I burned way more calories than when I do cardio doing that. How was your first cardio session? Hmm? How was your first cardio session? I sweat. Was it hard? No, I mean, it's Orange Theory. Ah. Eight, three point three. And Ashton's just started doing cardio. He decided he's gonna shred for real this time. And he did incline eight, speed three for 30 minutes. Not that hard while he watched me. my physique update which is about a week and a half or so maybe a little over a week and a half into my cut that I started um, I guess for the Arnold or whatnot because I'm going out to the Arnold and working with Fit Crunch. I'm pretty excited about that but I was a little pudgy a little on the like thick side um, so just tightening up a little bit I have not changed my macro since the beginning of the cut I haven't delete or added or like increased cardio or anything like that. Basically, I'm doing three hit sessions a week with six intervals, and then I'm doing two metabolic days, so like high intensity um, weightlifting, super fast, four lifting days, four solid lifting days, so six days a week essentially. Ah, getting in my yoga for stretching and stuff like that. My weight has been like, I mean, I know that like it went down yesterday, but it's not gonna stick. Like I already know. So we'll see. I do feel a little bit tighter. I like the carb cycling because I don't feel as like stuffed all the time. Um, still eating about the same calories, you know, because you make up the difference with fats and proteins. Your, your fats are higher when you have lower carb days. But I like it, it's fun. I'm enjoying it. It's making me feel a little bit better, so that's good. Um, current situation. We are starting to do some packing here because we are, it doesn't really look like we've done much, huh? Yeah, yeah, let's see. Uh, there's a few more boxes over there, but we're actually moving on Friday, which is like five days from now, and that's the place looks exactly the same. But we're moving in the same building to just a bigger place, bigger unit, um, two bedroom, because obviously this is way too small. So it's gonna be easy. We don't have to pack like everything. We started packing a little bit of things. We went through some more throughout the week, and then just like go up and down the elevator for like the whole weekend. It's gonna be fun. Can't wait to show you guys the new place. It looks almost identical to this place because they don't really make very different units. The only thing they change is the color of the cabinets. They'll be white instead, which I like much better. I wish they had white or like gray floors or something, but they don't. So whatever. We need the space to have an office. That's what's happening this weekend. This may be the end of the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know if there was anything on here. This can't be the end of the vlog. Welcome to a full day of eating.
meal. This is like second breakfast. It's like 9.30 now. I've got my egg white oats that I prep every week. This is egg whites, oatmeal, vanilla extract. Um, oh, and I put some pumpkin in there for thickening and usually I top it with coconut oil. But guess what? I forgot. That sucks. So I'll have to make up my oils or my fats somewhere else. How I do that throughout the day. But I'm about to scarf this down and continue working. Look at that. It's so beautiful and it would be so much better with coconut oil. Yum. Look at how thick that is. Oh, it's so delicious. Okay, I'm gonna go now. What's up guys? All right, so I am, I just left the gym and I'm headed back towards Austin, but I've got to, Tuesdays it's usually my grocery shopping day, but since we're moving, I kind of don't really want to load up on groceries and we have enough prepped meals to get through the weekend. So I've got to make a quick stop at Costco um, to buy the big things we need, like egg whites and then like some veggies, just to make it through to the weekend. And that's it. currently sipping on a white monster right there. White monster. Not proud of that habit. I've been cutting back and I only have like two or three a week, but sometimes I really crave them. And you know, it's life. It's life. I don't even know if we can fit those in the fridge, but we'll try. So I was hangry, like hangry when I came home. It obviously took me a lot longer to do all the things I had to do. I usually eat at like 12.30ish, but I didn't eat until 2.30 because stopped at Costco, obviously. Got the goods, came upstairs, <sighs> and then came home to this. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day, guys. So, uh, Mr. Powell put a little note there. It says, we got a movie date right now because tomorrow, Wednesday, Valentine's Day, we actually both have a full work day. So like, who puts Valentine's Day on a Wednesday? Like that's so dumb. I know it's the 14th, but whatever. They should change it. So, movie date. So I rushed to eat my food. It was literally just shredded lettuce, grilled asparagus, and grilled chicken. And now I'm gonna eat a rice cake and almond butter. I got a whole lot more to update you guys on too. It's been crazy. This my life is like a race, guys. Like a race. I'm racing from here to there. So rice cake, peanut butter, going down now. One rice cake. Only one. Low carb day, guys. Low carb. So basically, today was my chicken day with my coach. She dropped my macros and she also suggested that I get a hormone test. So I ordered a hormone test on Amazon. Really easy. If they send you the thing, you, it's like a little saliva test, you send it back to them, they send you like a full panel. Um, because obviously like, I don't know, I just think that I maintain a really good diet, I don't cheat, and yet like my weight doesn't budge or it goes up, if anything. It's just really weird. So I'm glad that she's taking the initiative to ask about that and I'm definitely gonna do what she says and uh, get that done. So I ordered one, it's on the way, I'll let you know. All the details about that when I do get it. So macros lowered for both my low carb day, high carb day. Hopefully start seeing some more results soon because the Arnold is like only three weeks away. So I would like to have like an ab muscle. Like one, just one. Just want to show one of my abs. Okay guys. I like to use these little Barney almond butters. They're perfectly portioned out. Super easy. And then I carry them everywhere with me for like if I forget like my coconut oil or Something like that, which I did, but it works out. Look at that. That is my life, right there. And um, we gotta head to this movie. Catch you guys later. What's up guys? <laughs> it's actually two days later. Yeah, I know. I didn't finish my full day of eating, surprise. Um, but I'm just gonna show you what I'm eating today because it's what I eat every single night and it's what I ate the other night after I came back from watching Fifty Shades of Grey, which was pretty good. 7 p.m., 7.30 p.m. maybe? Oh my God, long day, I'm sweaty. I worked out late because I stayed up really late last night and didn't get much sleep. So I didn't, I was not gonna get up early and do that. Um, but let me show you. I'm gonna start my, my dinner up uh, first, we've got zucchini noodles that I noodled up myself. I use this spiralizer. You can get one on Amazon. Grocery stores have them. Super easy. There's a noodle. A noodle in here. Um, so I spiralize it myself, and then I'm going to cook that up on the pan. 
put some ground turkey and seasonings on it. I use mustard. I'll show you what it looks like at the end. But, so what I first, what I like, they cook in like five minutes. I usually spiralize them and then I go take a shower and then I come out and I finish cooking them. Just because I don't know why. Less to do after I'm done showering. But I don't know. I, did I tell you guys this? But like, I'm moving tomorrow. I'm moving tomorrow. So it's kind of one of the reasons why I was up so late. I have done like nothing. Like the place looks almost the same. These are, this is what we have. I guess there's a few more boxes over here. But yeah, that's what that looks like. A little bit of packing. Can't wait to show you guys the new place. It's not that different. Remember, I'm pretty sure I already said that, but it's just more space, which I'm really excited about because that means I can organize more because I actually have places to put things. So, I'll catch you guys in the next clip, showing you my last meal, and then the video will go up, which this is taking me like so long to film. I've been filming this freaking vlog for like two weeks. God. All right, so that is dinner. I put some spring mix on the bottom, grilled zucchini, thanks. Mixed it up with Icon Meals, ground turkey which is like bomb then for the dressing I like to combine honey mustard which is five calories per serving sriracha mustard which is no calories per serving and then a tablespoon or half a tablespoon of olive oil depending on how much macros I have left and that's what that looks like and then we just mix it all up and uh, it's pretty delicious pretty delicious peace out peeps. peace out. Hey.